Gustav Kirchhoff was a German physicist who made some seminal contributions to the study of circuits. Namely, he contributed two laws that are fundamental to understanding the behavior of electric flow in circuits when you're trying to represent them in diagrams and make sense of them, how they're connected. The first one is Kirchhoff's current law. So his first law is about current. And this law states that the sum of all of the currents entering, exiting a particular node must be zero. So that means the sum of I of K, where we loop through all of the Ks, must be zero. Practically, what does this mean? This means that if you have a wire that has multiple connections, and you have some current that's flowing into it, and this is I1, and you have, say, another current, I2, flowing out, and you have another current flowing out. Call that I3. If you look at all of the signed currents and you keep track of the signs in the right way, the net flow of current must be zero. As we're, dry, as we're writing it this way, if we're going to consider these all positive currents, then what we would say is that I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 because we're actually keeping current flowing the same way, right? It's all re with respect to how current is flowing relative to that node in the center. So current flows in, current flows out. Those current flowing out must be negative. Current flowing in is positive. So if we had these all on the same side, it would be I1 minus I2 minus I3 equals zero. And that's what the first law dictates, is that the net flow of current at a node must be zero. The second law talks about voltage. And it makes a similar statement, but it's not about a single node. It's instead about a mesh or a loop. And what the second law says is that if you have a any loop around a circuit, and so like you have a circuit with you know, the start of the wire here, and you go out and you have a resistor here, and you have a capacitor here, and let's say you have an inductor here, and you're closing off with a voltage source here, just doesn't matter, right? The sum of all of the voltages that form a loop must be zero. So in this case, the sum of all the voltages around the nodes must be zero. And that also makes sense because it doesn't matter if you're, how you go around in a loop or how, what loop you take. If you end up back at the same node that you started, if you go this way, this way, this way, this way, the net change in voltage that you must experience in that loop and as you get back, must be zero. Otherwise, what you're doing is that as you go around the loop, this voltage would be increasing or decreasing, and that's not possible. It must be the same. And thus, in any loop that you take, the voltage around it must be zero. And these are very fundamental principles that are the beginnings of making analysis of electronic circuits. So the first law says sum of currents in node equals zero. And then sum, this is, this is voltage uh, loss, as sum of voltage in a loop must 
V zero. Those are Kirchhoff's, Kirchhoff's first and second law, laws of electronic circuits.